I guess there's no pause for stuff like that. So I have to keep on talking. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we must understand. We must always understand that there is a role that we must play. Now, since I'm the only one that I hear out here talking about peace and prosperity and joy for every person on the face of the earth, especially every American, since I'm the only one speaking about that, then I can't expect a Democrat to talk about it. I can't expect a Democrat to represent it. I can't expect a Republican to talk about it. I can't expect a Republican to represent it. Yet it is the same kind of thing that I want. And I happen to believe that every human being out here wants these same kinds of things. And if you want these same kinds of things, then somebody should be out here representing these things so that you can speak about what do you want. Do you really want peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and your dreams being fulfilled? Do you want your needs, your wants, and your desires met? Or are you just playing games? Playing games, thinking that you'll play these games so when you die, you can have it to some other future time. I'm saying every man out here in America that hears my voice who is feeling under the big waves, I mean the big waves, if you're feeling under that tsunami wave because you can't support your family like you want to, if you in a situation like that, then you should be supporting the cause that I share with you. If you out here can't send your kids to college because of, you know why, you know the many reasons that they exist. If you are in that position, you should be over here supporting this particular cause. If you are a woman out here saying, me too, that you stand up and you're just as important as any man, if you believe that with all your heart, then you should be over here supporting this, not a Republican or a Democrat, but supporting what you say you believe. If you believe that everybody should have access to health care and the best health care that you can come up with, if you believe that, then you should be over here with this program, not over here saying, well, I don't know we can pay for it. I don't want no excuses. If you believe that it should happen, then you should be over here with this campaign. And you should be saying, let's do it. And I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want, but I'm not an organizer. And if you come over here and you want to see these things done, then those amongst you who are organizers must organize this campaign and take it forward. I'm not an organizer. I'm going to see that the righteousness of God's love for each human being get experienced here in this United States of America. Yes, I'm very sick of it. I'm sick of it when I hear that when you're dealing with marijuana, you got black people going to jails and prisons and stuff for dealing with marijuana. I mean, three, four, five times more than other people having to suffer for dealing with something that somebody else brought into this environment to make money. And they weren't black. And then when you say finally that, okay, we can make money off it, let's go ahead on and do it. And we open up the markets so that you can deal with marijuana. Who gets the license? Those people who were denied the going to jail stuff. And the people who went to jail to pay the heaviest price get one or two licenses, three, maybe four. I think I heard somebody say four somewhere today. Maybe 10, but I know I heard four. But I heard hundreds, I heard thousands of others, whites. The people who escaped the punishment. Man, you guys got to be out of your mind. You got to be out of your mind to live in a world like this. How can you allow this to happen to not just yourselves, but to other people? You see that difference that's happening. You can't sit back and say, well, it didn't happen to me, so I guess it's all right. You've got to be out of your mind because let me tell you, if you can say that, then everything that you are watching happen to other people is going to come in straight to you. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we are on this earth to serve one another. We are on this earth to be a representation of the power that we cannot see that can cause a manifestation of heavenliness. A power we cannot see that building hell on earth that's out there murdering the, 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 the Ukrainian people, that's murdering people in Africa, that's murdering people everywhere you go, running, got people scared, people can't live, 
being raped and running, trying to find some kind of refuge, trying to find somewhere to hide? What do you think this is, ladies and gentlemen? This, what do you think this is, all of you folks who were at church the other day, Sunday? What do you think this is? You're waiting to go to church next Sunday so you can pay your tithes and offering. What do you think this is? This is time for men to stand up, people who are led by the Spirit of God, to stand up and take control of the society and show some love, not punishing, but finding the cause of problems and fixing it. Ain't nobody trying to punish Putin. We know he deserves it, but we're going to let God punish him. It is our duty to show him love, to show him what love is, to show him that he got caught up in the wrong stuff, to show Donald Trump that he got caught up in the wrong stuff, to show all of these people around here ready to kill folks. The jokers that walk around here on the streets killing folks on the Saturday nights. The people who walk out the streets seeing a group of people together and just start shooting because they've lost their mind living in this environment. We got to change this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, but we cannot change it unless we change. And we got to change because we are nothing but demons ourselves if we really look down at the truth. But I'm going to say to you, I'm not going to sit back and just talk about Donald Trump and the Republicans. I'm not going to just sit back and say the Democrats half-stepping. I'm not going to worry about that the Republicans want to get in a debate. I will debate anybody when it comes down to this nation. I will debate anybody when it comes down to freedom for the people of this nation. I will debate anybody when it comes down to whether people got a job or whether people can participate in the creative process so they can become owners of the stuff that exists, so they can take advantage of it when they desire, want it, or need it. They don't have to bow down to anybody. They don't have to look ashamed at anybody because they themselves are just as important because they are a representation of the spirit of the living God. That's what I'm going to see. And if anybody wants to see that, then join with the spirit. And let us take care of this business. Do I still have to stand alone? Am I, I'm alone right now. I'm alone right now. Are you with me? You say you want these things. That's why you protest. But you're only protesting for what you're protesting for when you don't give a stink about that who is standing beside you with a different sign. And where do you expect to go? You are out there representing, warring with each other, talking to the system, warring with each other, not knowing that all you got to do is put down the sign and come together and create the system that works for all of you. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, the system that works for you all. Well, I guess that's enough for now. Until next time, Eddie Marcus. Goodbye.